Hi and welcome back. Okay, uh, today I'm going to talk about the vocoder in Logic, a synth that's it's probably overlooked quite often that is actually pretty good for doing vocoder sounds. But before I jump into this, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification button. Very important to keep me uh, motivated for making more videos. And uh, let's jump straight into this. Now, what I've done, I've imported a vocal loop from Apple Loops up here. We all know Apple Loops. So I've, what I've done is I've looped the beginning so I can now work on a sound from the vocoder. So let's just bring in the vocoder. So it's the Evoc uh, 20 PS. So let's bring that in. Okay, so I've made this big. You can just pull this here at the side here and make that really small or really big. This is as big as it gets. So I'm gonna keep it big so we can see what we're doing. Here, when you open it up and you press on your keyboard, you've got kind of like a, a vocally sounding synth. Uh, as a default sound. So if we go to the synthesizer sounds, you can hear these, these sounds and stuff that sound pretty basic. Um, but they're kind of all a bit vocal sounding. If you listen to the bass, they all sound a bit a bit vocally. So let's go to the uh, vocoder, vintage vocoder. Let's choose clear voice vocoder, right? Now, as you can now hit the keyboard, there'll be nothing. What you need to do is you need to have a source. So we've got a source here, uh, which is our vocal loop. And then you go back to the synth and here in the side chain input, you print in the track that you, you have selected here, which is the Andre lyric track. And, um, as you can see, we have that coming in here, the Andre Lyric track going into this here. Now, if I play the sound and play the keyboard, that you can hear. There's a space where my heart has been, has been. If, if we mute this. Okay, so we've got that, that basic kind of vocoder sound there, but it's a bit kind of weak. So what I do is I, I bring up a, an EQ, which is my, this is my standard EQ that I've got saved as a user default. So what I've done is I cut a little bit of the bass out. I usually cut a little bit more out after, and then that's my user default that I've saved before. And I'll bring up a compressor as well. So compressor, and this is my user default compressor that I've saved. So now if I, I've just pressed the keyboard. There's a space where my heart has been. 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 So as you can hear, I'm playing down a chord and uh, that's giving me a nice little sound which is backing up the vocal. Now, that's one way of doing things or you can just mute the uh, the vocal track, hit hit play again, and then you can hear this. So as you can hear, we've got a single note playing there and you can create a melody. What I do is then EQ it a little bit. So it's come, so it cuts through a bit more. And of course, here you've got like you can change the sound of it here as well. Let's change the form and shift. And so I suggest looking at um, some of the other tutorials that are available online for all the technical things here, because I don't want to go into each knob and what each knob does. There's plenty of tutorials that does that. I'll probably use the tack pretty quick and the release quite fast. And you've got stereo width here as well. So you've got loads of you know simp functions and stuff that are pretty cool. And then you've got other um, presets like the fifth a vocal fifth, which is. And you've got a glide as well, which is pretty cool. So you can add a look like a bit warmer. Let's go back to my clear voice vocal. 
So the glide's pretty cool, pretty useful. And here you can change the the amount of bands that are here. So sorry, I'm going way over the top here, but um. So yeah, you can get a, a nice kind of Herbie, Daft Punk kind of vocoder, Herbie Hancock, as I would say, back in the, the 70s was using vocoders a lot. And then in the 90s, Daft Punk were using them a lot. There's been a lot of different bands using them, especially in the 80s. Um, uh, vocoder is very popular. It's back again. I mean, Bruno Mars uses it on, on his last album. So you can, if you work at it, get a, quite a decent sound out of this. So it's, it's quite overlooked, I think, in Logic. But anyway, so there you have it, the vocoder. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon.